So you've been modding for a while. You have, let's say, somewhere between 200 and 2,000 plugins. Everything's running smoothly. You have a save game where you've done a lot of stuff. You try to load it, and you get an infinite loading screen, or the first time you try to do anything, you get a crash to desktop. Maybe you just started a new game, and five minutes in you get an unexplained CTD or ILS. You might look at your crash log, but there's no apparent reason for these crashes, but they keep happening, regardless of what cell you're in. What you might be experiencing is you're nearing your reference handle limit. This guide will tell you the difference between temporary and persistent references and how you can fix this. What is the reference handle limit, you might ask? Skyrim Special Edition has a cap of 1,048,576 temporary loaded references, but let's just call it a million. All mods add references, some of them temporary, some of them persistent. Every time you do something in-game, it also adds references. Your game has to remember you killed Astrid, or dropped a wheel of cheese in the bannered mare. A million might sound like a lot, but it can add up quickly. Well, what's the difference? Persistent references are loaded before the game menu. They're loaded in the game's memory at all times. They're safe from this consideration. Temporary references are loaded on demand when you enter a cell with them, or whenever they're needed. When 1 million temporary references are loaded at the same time, the game gets hung up, crashing or not loading. The engine probably wasn't designed for a thousand mods overhauling every aspect of a cell. So what can we do? I'm here to tell you that master files, or ESMs, all get loaded when the game loads, like persistent references. It might take a little longer to load your game, but you can convert some of your plugins and ESMs. This is a simple and safe process. We're going to need three scripts for this purpose. First, go to GitHub and, link in the description, get count loaded references in load order. Then go to Nexus and get ESMifier and an ESMifier add-on. There's an optional file that combines the two in the add-on if you want. We'll go over them one at a time though. Go to your xEdit folder to edit scripts and add all three. Open xEdit with your whole load order. Right click on any mod, apply script, count loaded references and load order. This might take a few minutes. For me it took about five minutes. It'll give you your persistent and temporary references in your load order, including all your ESMs, but the totals at the bottom will be the totals not including the ESMs. Take note of your total. If you're near 1 million, you have your cause right there. To maximize your safety, you want to be well below this number so your save game has room to grow. I'd say max 400,000 just from your mods. There's no real reason to do this for more than large overhauls and large quest mods, which tend to give you the most references. Pick out your biggest defenders. Keep in mind that this doesn't make them bad plugins like deleted nav meshes and unintentional ITMs. You're just modifying mods to meet your needs. Right click the mod, apply script, Run ESMifier. That's it. As a bonus, someone created another script that can add a little cherry on top. A lot of mods have unique NPCs that are listed as temporary reference handles. And this other script will convert them to persistent ones. That means that when you log into the game, all the NPCs who are not in the cell with you are going to be running around doing things. You won't have to break into their homes to get them to spawn and start their schedules. And if you want to combine both actions and be even more efficient, on the ESMifier add-on page there's a combined script that does both at once. Pick your own path. That's what I've done here. Close it and save it. And that's it. Happy modding.